being able to make a living drawing is kind of a dream come true. But the other reason, I guess, that keeps me going is uh, just trying to put some positive energy out there. and Hopefully it makes sense. I'm hoping to inspire people, show them maybe how things could be. Basically, I've just always drawn. I was probably like 13 when I stopped playing with my toys and I didn't want to, but I had to. So I just kept drawing, I guess. You know, no one said I couldn't draw. <laughs> I couldn't play with. Whenever my mom would have parties and stuff, I would sneak out and just go in my room and draw. You know, G.I. Joe's anymore. It's kind of the same thing though, you're creating like an environment and just having these people and they interact. We're stuck in our houses and stuff so much that being able to go on an adventure through, through drawing is interesting and fun for me. This is the enormous studio. Mural studio. Yeah, the whole thing, the whole mural is made in this tiny little closet area. So I take the panels and I stick them up here and I take a, ye like a yellow one for now because all the ones we have left are a lot of yellow. Hang up here. And then I just project that panel onto this panel. But basically, so I, I hit the lights. And then I just try and line it up with the, with the actual canvas. And a lot of, like I said, all these characters and stuff come straight out of my sketchbooks. I just draw the background structure separately. And then I start painting. It's like one step at a time until suddenly you got this giant mural. It's just like the ideal street scene in Minneapolis. There used to be all these you know, parades and street fairs and food trucks and stuff, so like, it's just kind of like what I imagine an ideal day would be like in summertime in Minneapolis. I'm Catherine, I'm from Loring Park, just two blocks that away. And I'm Maria, I'm from Stephen Square, just a few blocks that away. I think it's like, it looks very happy, joyful, um, you know, there's bright colors and people kind of throwing up their hands and looking like they're having a good time. Bright and optimistic and fun. You have these boxes going up, but if you see murals attached to them, you feel connected to that space. You see your own humanity reflected in it. We get to see elements of the Twin Cities reflected back at us here. So we have that bond. It helps with uh, just the beautification of a city. I think it just brightens up everything, you know, it gives people something to look at. This is, yeah, this is amazing. It's just amazing. Just like getting a lot of people out, seeing like the diversity of the city, like how vibrant and colorful like everything is, like it's really, really beautiful. Yeah, it looks way better, yeah. It looks way, I'm talking about way, yeah, it looks way better. And he did a good job, he did. How long did it take him to do that? I like this, though. This is nice what y'all do. Y'all hooked it up, though. Just staying positive and, like, inclusive and loving people. You know, just, that's kind of what's in my work, and I, I want it all to make sense. So, like, even my compositions are, nothing is, like, in conflict with anything else. I know that's, that's impossible, but it's something to strive for.